is Mark from WayAdDev.com and I'm going to show you a Flash Professional CS5.5 um, story. Um, the new Flash player I live in is now out in beta on Adobe.com so I thought I would show you how we can configure Adobe Flash CS5.5 to configure to compile sorry, for uh, Flash Player 11. Right, first thing you're going to do is go to your computer your C drive open up the Adobe folder find Flash CS5.5 common configuration action script 3.0 Right, and then here I'm going to put the download link for this from my website because these are the files I'm using. Right, this will be the Flash Global and files. So paste them in here, continue to accept the permissions. Okay, second step is back to configuration players. And then here we can put in the player configuration. So, I'm not going to show you this, but I'm just going to show you where you can adjust the settings, first of all. Sorry. You can pick the Flash Player version. Obviously, 11 isn't shown yet because I've not restarted Flash. Then here, where's what it will be? Okay. Post on Flash. Close this folder. Open Flash back up. Now add them up the recording here, and I'll come back to you later. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I had to wait for Flash to open it back up because I have some corrupt fonts on my computer. It's called the initializing font. It takes forever. If you know how to fix that, please tell me. But anyway, let's open up a project. Just a little demonstration. And I go to publish settings. Then if I look now, I have the option for Flash Player 11. Okay. Right, you can't directly debug this from inside Flash yet. So I don't believe this is an update. But here's what you can do. You can download the debugger executable from Adobe, but I'll have it zipped up in the folder you're going to download. So if I go to um save as first. There's a demo, doesn't matter what you save it as, I'm just showing you. Publish. That gives me the executable. Well, the Swift file. Then I open up the executable. File. Open. Browse. From the demo Swift. Okay. And that's it. Now debugging the Flash Player 11. And any compiler errors will come up as well in here. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one, which will be on making Android apps with Adobe Air and Flash.